Yep. Okay, third place match going on between Wholesome and Nightmare Rotation here, and it's the same again, baby. We, actually, we've got ourselves a Lunar Snow on the field, which is interesting. Sinatra gets overextended, taken down by Hazard. Question is, who's going to get the first cap here? Seems like there's a slight advantage at the moment for the side of Wholesome, hungry off their previous loss to the side of mutants space moving forward puts up the amp it's going to be both the tanks falling down finally the aggression that they've been expecting and honestly the uh the meta here for hydration might change with a lunar snow on the field you might want to try and copy that lunar yeah the snow ultimate i think is really really good just being able to quickly toggle between the damage boost and the speed we've seen firsthand ourselves like they have really how good the eye of agamoto combo plus the fate of both worlds is that combo between the snow ult and the all-important strange ult. Just so much damage on stun targets. You can burst anyone down, you can wipe the whole team, and it's two ults for a one fight. But Hydron's on such an aggressive angle here, trying to break a door to find access to the backline, and he might have found it. Attempting oh. it. I've, I've got a very different view from you right now. <laughs> Mine says I'm live, but who knows? Might be a bit rich. Looks like they know they are. Sinatra moving forward with their ultimate here hogs in the way and hogs broken down super gomez of course someone we know from uh from overwatch i believe does actually play a good amount of star lord but i'm gonna be bringing that in this particular match instead why would you ever stop playing the punisher he's just so bloody good the loot goes forward and now i think the wholesome team are just happy to sit on point they're gonna break some environment on the top to deny an angle potentially or Hazard here, who has the ultimate ready to go. But speaking of ultimate, it's going to be everything coming out from Nightmare Blood Rotation. Oh, yeah. So many ticks opening up with Portal. It's actually going to be a copy on their own Lunar Snow to open up with their first part. This keeps Super Gomez alive during this ultimate. But it seems like there's plenty of healing coming through from the support. Moving in from the other side. Yep. You better believe it's Lunar Snow. Another ultimate coming through. Oh, my God. The value that Hydration or Hydron's getting, rather. From this Hella ult is crazy. So much cleave and Kalu just puts the nail in the coffin using the Eye of Agamotto. This is going to be a uh, wholesome taking this one easily, I imagine. Yeah, there's so many ultimates left in the bank for the side of Nightmare Rotation. So it's not all doom and gloom, but that's kind of what you want realistically when you're playing a first to two on this control mode. You expend all your ultimates just to get that first one. Get yourself on the board, and it really does say something when you're the best part of your kit is your ultimate when the power budget is put into that fate of both worlds or fate between worlds. I'm not quite sure on the naming, but that Lunar Snow Q button. Just go Loki and copy it instead. Hydration there hitting the Seraphim choreography right in the middle of their team. <laughs> just to dance them all the way to victory and get them that first point. Look at the raw healing that's coming out of Karev as well. 8k already. And one of the things yeah. that we've got to start considering now is that there's no resurrection for the side of Nightmare Rotation. I think uh, it's a big miss. Yeah, it's which a big miss. Is, a, is a huge amount of yeah. utility that's missing. And also, it means that you can't really control as thoroughly the ability to boost up Super Gomez's ultimate. On top of this, though, what Kareva does bring to the uh, what Kareva does bring to the table is the ability to interrupt ults like the Eye of Agamotto using the Freeze CC. Yeah, um, what I like actually is I would, I mean, I'm not sure how good the Loki is in general. It seems like it's very, very favoured. But if anything, I would have dropped the Loki here because, as I've said before, you just can't afford to not play the most overchitted character in this current meta, which is absolutely. That raccoon and, and space is going to get a ton of value on it, I'm sure, heading into this map. Yep, space takes a moment, set up that respawn beacon. A little bit slow on the TP here from Gasklin. We'll see if that's coming to punish them. There's an Eye of Agamotto available, see if we can get any value out of it. Already, it's going to be the dance floor coming through from a Lunar Snow and Kaluge, which is a little bit too deep. Got walled in, got shotguns. And honestly, a huge amount of defensive ults coming through here just to try and make sure that no one falls over after that initial pick onto Kaluge. Actually, kind of a good fight, though from the side of Nightmare Rotation because they just hit the dance floor, Karova presses the ultimate, they just kind of walk on them, effectively start checking them, they say, okay, we're going to be healing it, you know, 100, 200 HP per second, whatever it is, what on earth are you going to do? And they just run them all the way out the building. Hydron oh tries to peek and loses the Ego 1v1 again. Hazard currently 3 up on that. Okay, I'm going to correct you on that one. Not an Ego 1v1 from Hazard. An absolutely insane flank just burrowed through the floor to get on top of Hydron. Crazy. Oh, wow, that was nuts then. Holy. Nuts so from, ha from Hazard, honestly. Uh, There's a DPS to look out for, that's for sure. But speaking of, Hydron and Sinatra are never going to be silent for too long, are they? Oh, 
that's a huge eye coming through. They want Sinatra. Can they find him? The shift is good enough. My God. So many headshots coming through. It was a big eye, but it was a huge turn as well coming through from Wholesome. Nightmare Blunt rotation or rather Nightmare rotation have been absolutely eviscerated. Yeah, absolutely. They've been uh, smoked in that fight. Nightmare for lack Disney of a better rotation. Word. <laughs> Nightmare Disney rotation. Yeah, absolutely. That consists of, of Jake Paul and whoever else is. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that's a Zuma joke, so anyone over the age of 23 in chat will not get that one. Nonetheless, Super Gomez got their own ultimate ready to go. I'm not sure how good the Punisher ultimate is it being able to retake, particularly through this tight choke point dealing with the Groot, but we're going to have to find out the hard way. Sorry, just needed some mini cheddars. <laughs> ah, fair enough. Well, mini cheddars and the cheese is coming out from the rest of Holcomb here, though. As the, uh, the, the ult combo, but Super Gomez has found our remix, maybe. Dude, Hazard has an angle on Sinatra, but it's broken down pretty quickly in that Sky High Ultimate. Still moving forward here. There's plenty of healing coming from Kareva. Hydron noted. Can he be finished? Crows away. Maybe an overchase here from Hazard. It's, it's going to be a disengage into an ult coming through. Hydron quickly burned down. Only 90 HP. One shot would do it, but it seems like neither of the hit scans can get it. Kaluge moves forward. Easily blocked by Gasklin. Kaluge might be a touch overextended here. Forced to drop off the high ground. Hydration now, the only ultimate that is available for the side of Holson. May decide to go in for their own eye of Agamotto if it is going to be appropriate. For now, though, moving in. Copies over Doctor Strange. Moves in towards the back line. Desperately wants Luna Snow. And may well find it. That's three caught in the eye of Agamotto. What a turnaround from Hydration. Oh, the damage is huge. And Kaluge is on the other side, able to break down whoever remains. What a play from Hydration. Yeah, as if it wasn't bad enough dealing with one Doctor Strange. Now you have to deal with two. Kaluge and Hydration just walk on them. And in particular, Hydration showcasing their flexibility to be able to play multiple roles, understand the game from a different perspective, from a different class, as is reference to their previous pro player career in the Overwatch League. Hydration's got such a complete skill set in these hero-based uses. It really is almost the perfect character for them here to play a support, but also to have the coffee at the same time. Absolutely, one of the first to make that the case. Judge Jury and Execution are available. Question is, do we want to see it be used by Sinatra? It's Quartal who's actually running it at the moment. Hazard gets picked up in the middle of all of us. Sinatra's on the flank with the ultimate Super Gomez instantly eviscerated. That wall's not going to last very long. Kalu seems to have got two with the Eye of Agamotto elsewhere. And the DPS is just going to be too much to burden here. This is certainly going to be a finish in favor of Wholesome. Two points in a row and a lot cleaner than they were against Mutants. Now, very, very clean. Just nothing that nightmare rotation could really do in that fight the choke control in particular was so so good and i like the lunar snow pick in general but i think the reses actually really really mattered